Hello folks, in this video I'm going to give you a little tutorial covering Trongate Pages. Now Trongate Pages is a content management system. It gives you this docking bay that you can see on the left hand side here and with this you can add in things like headlines and videos and uh, images, uh, you name it. You can do all of that stuff and this is now included with the Trongate framework. So that's what we're going to be covering and here we go. I'm going to kick this one off with the Trongate desktop app here. Now I know that some of you folks are a little bit paranoid about using this thing and uh, that's all fine. However, I would say just a couple of things. First of all, nobody is getting hacked or anything. I can assure you I actually made this whole thing pretty much in public during some live streams. But also, I'm going to be making this open source completely within the next week or two. So you're soon going to have a tutorial where you can look at the code for this and even run this as a Node.js app. So do not give up on the Drongate desktop app. Nevertheless, uh, I'm going to just click create new app. And for the app name, I'm just going to type best CMS. <laughs> All right. Now, it's going to ask you for a base URL, and I'm just going to go with the suggestion here. I am using XAMPP. It's going to then ask for some database connection details. I'm going to click here. And if you need to change some details, be my guest. But for me, this is fine. And then it's going to ask us to choose a location. I'm going to have this inside htdocs and I'm going to click create new app here. So here we go and we are going to, in fact, do you know something? Are we? Yeah, we've got it. <laughs> I had to check that I'd sent it up to GitHub. It's that new, ladies and gentlemen, it's that new. Okay, so we've now got a new app. If we click view your app, You'll see something a little bit different. Sometimes, uh, in the past at least, we've had this blue page that says it totally works. But as you can see, we now have an SQL file because we need some database tables and whatnot. Now, you don't need to use MySQL or MariaDB with Trongate. But if you do, if you decide to use it, you can click View SQL. It's going to show you what we've got here. And we're going to run SQL. I understand the risks, it's fine. And then when that SQL has been executed, just click OK. All right, so now it's taking us to the new holding page or the default page for the Trongate website here. Now, this is something that may change from time to time, but this is what we're going with at the moment. And I would draw your attention to these sections down here. And these are all different ways that you can help to get involved with this framework. Now, let's click into Admin Panel. And we're going to add in a username of Admin and a password of Admin. You can change these, of course. We're going to click Submit. And here we are now in the Admin Panel. And watch how easy it is to get started with this. I'm going to click Create New Article. I'll call this First Article. Ahoy! I'm going to click Submit. And now it gives us this page here. You'll notice a couple of things. This is using the default template that comes with Trongate. You can use any template you want, of course. But on the left, you'll see that we've got this docking bay here. Now, take a look downstairs. You see these little icons? You can change the position of this. So maybe you like your docking bay to be up here or downstairs or on the right hand side. You can have it anywhere you want and it will be remembered. If I, for example, take you to another website, let's take a little trip to GitHub and then I'll take you back to that previous page, you'll notice that it remembers where the dock is. So choose somewhere that makes you feel good. I'm going to have this on the left. And all you have to do is just click the little plus icon and away you go. So I'll have a headline. I'll have a little bit of text. I'll have a couple of buttons. And just look at how fast this is. We can align the buttons to the center, make them a little bit bigger. I'm going to press escape and that gets rid of the toolbar. 
let's have a little divider, another little headline, and then another bunch of text. Now, of course, you can edit these things quite easily. So second headline, ahoy. You can change the code. So for example, I'll say style is color orange. You can add CSS, JavaScript, anything you want. Now, by the way, if you just stop moving, then after about five seconds, the toolbar disappears and there it is, it's just disappeared. Now to save, you click the green save button and it's as easy as that. I've now saved the page. You can go back to the main admin panel. Here it is here. I would draw your attention to this published thing. So if you want to publish the page, you can click this here. That's the page now public and it's available for anyone who wants to use or access the page on this URL here. Now, uh, let me just view this page again in edit mode. And I want you to know that when you are in edit mode, the URL has got forward slash edit on the end of it here. So if you take that off, you're basically viewing the website like a normal human being. So to give you a super quick example of some editing that might be interesting, let's say we go into the buttons here and we say with the second button, let's just do a little on click equals alert and I'll just say hello you, something like that. I'll click off of the code thing, I'll hit escape, get rid of that toolbar and I'm going to save. Okay, now if I get rid of the forward slash edit, I'm now viewing the page like an ordinary human being. And look, when I click the secondary button, little JavaScript pop up. And yes, indeed, my friends, you can add JavaScript to your pages. It's as easy as that. Now, let's go back to edit mode here. So all that's happening is the URL says forward slash edit. And just to show you a couple of other things, yes, we can upload images. We've got a beautiful image uploader here. I'll just show you how this works. So we can choose an image. Look at this handsome devil here. And then just upload. It's as simple as that. Gives us a little spin. And it's as easy as that. Let's see if we can add another just to show you. So let's go into this folder here. I have some other pictures just to give us an idea of how this looks. So I'm adding images to the server. You can see it's spinning. It's showing us the thing that we've just uploaded and it's all fantasticola, okay? And we can upload this. Now, to add an image onto a page, it's very easy. We just click onto the image and then I'm just gonna click add to page and it's as simple as that. You can see that it has added the image onto the bottom of the page here. If you'd like to align, we can just click align and then I'll just hit escape, save and it's as easy as that. Now let's imagine we want to edit this text here. Maybe we want to add some more stuff. How about a little list? Something like this. So look at this fourth. Look how easy this is. Have you ever seen anything like it? Let's imagine I'm gonna add a picture here, all right? Or maybe even here, let's be really awkward. So I'm clicking here and I'm gonna now click the little image icon and check this out. I'll choose this handsome devil. I'm gonna to add to page and this time it's saying, where would you like to add the image? I have a variety of choices. I can add an image to the top of the page before the selected element, inside the selected element, after the selected element, or at the bottom of the page. I'm going to add inside the selected element. So here we go, and you can see that that image has been added. Now, it does not look too good, I admit. So let's click the image, and from here we can, of course, click on code. You can edit the code, it's not a problem. But in this instance, I'm going to click properties. I'm going to align to the right. I'm going to give it a margin of 1M and apply changes and just look at that. How easy was that, folks? Now, you can, of course, view the source code for the entire page. All of this gets automatically beautified for you as well. And 
you can change this or click this settings button. And if you want, you can change things like the URL string, you can add meta tags, or publish or unpublish the page. Speaking of unpublish, I'm going to unpublish the page and submit. And I want to show you something. In here, if I just zoom you in, okay, it gives you the URL that you need to go to to view the site. This page is not published. So if I go to the URL, you'll see that we get a 404 error page. And of course, you can change this and make it look nice, okay? However, if we publish the page, and I'm just going to click the icon here, and of course, you can publish inside settings, but now, same page, refresh, and there it is. It's fantastic, Ola. Now, just a couple more things I'd like to show you, if that's okay. Take a closer look at these URLs, and you'll see that they all start with trongate underscore pages. At least, that's what you get after the base URL. Can you see that? Trongate underscore pages. Now, this is a good time to open up the text editor. And I have a few things open, forgive me. So I'm going to open up the text editor because I want to show you something else that you just might like. So this is best CMS. And OK, so that's the type of URLs that we get, right? But wouldn't it be nice if we could change this? Maybe you want to have the URL say something like blog or news or who knows what, maybe even article or something like that. Well, it turns out you can do that as well. It's really, really easy. I'm just going to go into config and I'll just remove this comment for the moment. And down here, I'm going to say define. And we're going to call this one Trongate Pages Trigger. That's all in uppercase. Trongate underscore pages underscore trigger. And I'm going to just say the word blog and save, right? As simple as that. And now, if I go to the URL and get rid of this Trongate Pages and just write the word blog, you see that it works. It absolutely works and it's fantastic, Ola. All right, well, I think that's going to do us for this tutorial. This is V1 of Trongate Pages. I'm sure that there'll be more stuff added in the future. And as far as I'm concerned, we of Team Trongate now have the best content management system of any PHP framework. And you'd never know because you look around Twitter or Reddit, or here, there, and anywhere, usually some dark corner of the web, and you'll find jealous Laravel developers posting nonsense. Recently, one of them said, the only reason Trongate is so fast is because it has no features. Can you believe that? Anyway, the days of sitting back and doing nothing have gone. We are now fact-checking the namesayers. The namesayers? The naysayers, pardon me. So, if you see anybody posting false information about this framework, and by the way, it's okay to say that you don't like the framework. It's okay to say the framework's rubbish, or that I'm rubbish. But if somebody posts some information that is demonstrably false, such as the framework has no features, I'm asking you to let me know. My friends, the revolution is underway. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.